Hi, this is Lorenzo. And this is Natalia. Welcome to the podcast Canadian Citizenship by North York Community House. This is the space where our volunteers will read articles about some of the topics you may encounter on the test. Welcome, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hi, Natalia. How are you? I'm good. How about you? I'm good. I'm good. Okay, so now it's time to listen to our new episode. And we are going to talk about communication. And more specifically about a device, the BlackBerry. Okay, so let's listen to our volunteer for today's episode. Hello, everyone. I'm Charna Gord. I'm a volunteer at the North York Community House. Today, we're going to read something about an invention. The history of communication, BlackBerry. Why is the invention of BlackBerry so important? The history of human civilization is full of inventions that have changed the world. Some inventions might be more fascinating than others. And when something is invented, a specific date becomes important. On March 7, 1876, 29-year-old Alexander Graham Bell received a patent for his revolutionary new invention, the telephone. This invention completely transformed society. By coincidence, again on March 7, back in 1984, a tiny company, Research in Motion, was founded by fresh engineering graduates Mike Lazaridis and Douglas Fregin in Waterloo, Ontario. They changed the way we communicate. Can you remember a time when you couldn't make a call or send a text anytime, anywhere? It looks like we have had this luxury forever, but actually it only started 30 years ago. Mike Lazaridis unveiled the prototype for his first wireless communications device in 1996. That time, there were lots of cell phones on the market, but people used them like old-fashioned landlines, just for talking. Lazaridis had a revolutionary idea. Why not use cell phones to share other data, too? In 1997, Lazaridis' company, Research in Motion, launched the BlackBerry. We're not going to be technical here, but it is important to highlight that this BlackBerry had an Intel processor, could operate on a single AA battery for two to three weeks at a time, and could send or receive emails. The BlackBerry had a keyboard that made typing messages a breeze, and all of this communication power was small enough to fit in your pocket. When Research in Motion started a private text message service in 2002, BlackBerry's popularity exploded. Everyone from business executives, prime ministers, and presidents to social media savvy celebrities loved the BlackBerry. Millions of BlackBerry users around the world embraced the power of being connected anytime, anywhere. The rest is communication history. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Good luck on your test. So, Natalia, did you know about BlackBerry? Um, You know, to tell the truth, uh, I didn't have a BlackBerry by my own, but today I came across a lot of articles about BlackBerry. So that's why, yes, I this was an addition to what I read about this device. What about you? Uh, yes. I mean, I heard about it, but I never had one. No, I never had one. But yeah. okay. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at some of the words that we had. And let's start with the word fascinating. So this is actually an adjective, fascinating, extremely interesting and attractive. For example, his performance is fascinating to watch. Or, for example, it's a fascinating book. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. The next word is by coincidence. Coincidence. So this means when two things happen at the same time by chance in a surprising way. So it's not expected. And, for example, we have by coincidence, I met the person we had been discussing the next day. 
So by coincidence. Excellent. Do we have any synonyms that we can use instead of this word? You can, yeah, you can say luck, uh -huh. um, depending on the context. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. it's more like surprising way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By coincidence. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. So another word, it's unveil. It's a verb uh, to show or introduce a new product or plan to the public for the first time. Unveil. So, for example, Apple company will unveil their new product tomorrow. Are you ready for this? Yeah, yeah they always <laughs> they always unveil something. <laughs> okay, the next word, a little bit connected with unveil, Natalia, is launch. Launch. Be oh, careful. It's time to have launch. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Don't say launch, but it's launch. And it's basically when you make a product or a service, and then, or you produce a service, and then you you make it available for the first time. So for example, um, we can say the new TV series launches at the beginning of this month. So launch, okay. okay. For example, you can say- Launch. Yeah, at the Apple company is launching a new product. Okay. okay, okay. So this is a new addition for me also. Thank you very much for this. Yeah. And another word, it's breeze. It's actually a noun. Uh, more common uh, meaning is when we are talking about a light wind, for example, a light breeze was blowing from the ocean. So, but in our case, it's completely different meaning. It's a thing that is easy to do. For example, finishing this assignment was a breeze. So did you know about this meaning? A breeze? Uh, yeah, I actually, yeah. Yeah, because the, there's also an idiom, um, Natalia, it's a piece of cake. That also oh. means um, uh -huh. easy, piece of cake, right? Because the cake is easy to eat, I guess. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> okay, our next word is savvy. So it's someone that has uh, uh, practical knowledge of something. So we can say in our example, it's a tech savvy, a person who um, is an expert, has knowledge in technology. <laughs> for example. Okay. But some other examples do you have? Yeah. For example, uh, you can say she was uh, a savvy woman, for example. So savvy mm -hmm. uh, knowledge, person who has knowledge. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. It's about knowing something. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Good. So, and another word, it's embrace. It's a verb, for example, to accept an idea a proposal to set a uh, beliefs, especially when it is done with enthusiasm, embrace. It is important to embrace a challenge to a team. Yes, so to bring something. Yeah, I agree with you. <laughs> yes, with a special attitude. Or, for example, it can be another meaning more, I think, uh, attached to, to the feelings when you put your arms around somebody as a sign of love or friendship. Uh, mom embraced her son warmly, so embrace. I like the second meaning also. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's more hugging, like a hug. Yeah, embrace. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so uh, okay, this time was a breeze. <laughs> this podcast okay. episode was a breeze. Yeah, thank you very much, Lorenzo, for being with me, and I wish everybody also like this topic. Okay. Take care. Bye. Bye. This is the end of our episode. Make sure to check out our Facebook page, Citizenship Test Preparation North York Community House, where you can find more information about our free preparation courses. You can also visit our website, niche.ca, nych.ca, where you will find all the information and updates about our programs. You can also find us on Instagram at niche online. LinkedIn and Twitter.